Recording in progress. progress. Hi, Vijay. So I'll be handling uh, psychology optional and uh, for the GS I'm handling environment. Okay. So today we are going to see a, a small demo about the psychology. So to make you understand, so what is the subject? What is the subject matter? So what we will be dealing in psychology and uh, so about from the UPSC perspective, so how psychology will be, so how this optional and also to give you a, a fair idea so whether you can take this option or not. So probably you would have, you know, either you would have decided or you will mean 50-50 whether to take or not. So what type of background do you need? Whether any background, any specific background you need it. So that and all we will try to discuss. So just I will give a, a small demo of it. And uh, after that, we can have a question answer session. So whatever the questions you have, you can ask it. And for the online student, my chat box is also there. So uh, if you have any doubts, you can post it in the chat box. So in the periodically, I will try to check it out and I will try to give a clarification. So first, uh, before we start getting into it, yeah, please come. So I want to give you first and foremost thing, psychology, do we need any specific background? Because when the term comes psychology, many people think that it is something related to medical science and all. So yes, in uh, psychology, we have one thing called clinical psychology. So which is a medical, not a complete medical, it has a little biological background. But if you want to see psychology as a subject, it comes under the social science. I will say that 80 to 90% it is social science. Suppose today, whatever the background you are, see some of you from engineering, some of you from arts background, some of you from science background. If you want to know, go, so now you want to go and pursue a MA or MSc psychology. If you see any university in India or across the world, the qualification is any graduate from recognized university. So this is what. So that means whether you are a BA, MA, BA English Literature, you are a BCom, you are a BSc, MBBS, BE Engineering, Law Graduate, does not matter. If you want to directly pursue MA, MSc Psychology, you can directly pursue. Suppose for Economics and all, you need to have a BA Economics. But for Psychology, it is not. See, because why I want to tell it is, you have to understand the subject is of a general nature. Gender, it, it has its own, uh, you know, technicality, but anyone can take psychology. So if there is a first and foremost thing I want to give you an idea because before we get into the demo session. Now, what we are going to deal in psychology. So I want to first give you some small pictures. Now you see these pictures. So you know, who's this man? Usain Bolt, Hitler, Gandhi. You can see a boy fearing for a injection and you can see some two boys bullying. See all, it's nothing but behavior and personality. You can see Usain Bolt, I can say motivation. So because he's a sportsman, he has a very consistent motivation. It's a part of his personality. What is that motivation is achievement. So Usain Bolt getting now, he will say that I want to achieve, that's it. And you can take Hitler. So even though it's a negative personality, but Hitler has its own discipline. And you just imagine Hitler was doing, you know, what Hitler did. Of course, he was killing many, uh, many number of uh, I can say Jews and the other thing, but every the entire country supported him. You see that how he's able to do it, even though actually, even though he has a negative triad, but he's a strong leadership. And Gandhi, you see the appearance of Gandhi. So Gandhi seems to be a very normal person. So he does not have a very great external, external personality, he does not have. He does not have much money. He's not a very, you know, a brilliant IQ level of 150. It's not that. Gandhi, if you see a Gandhi, it's a very normal person. But when Gandhi, in one place, Gujarat, when he gave a command, the entire country was able to listen him. So that is a leadership. See, today, you just go out. If you want to bring four people together, it's very difficult. But this one man, when he gave a call, the entire country, more than crores of people responded. See, this is personality. So how this personality comes, and you can see extremes personality, like terrorism. You can see that a normal person is converted into terrorist. They are not a psychopath. So psychopaths in the near so criminals. So actually, I cannot say that all the terrorists today in the terrorist organization, they are not a criminal. They're all very normal people. 
So 20 to 20, sorry, 12 to 13 years, they recruit it. They bring, they train them for two to three years. They completely change their mind to change their behaviors and change their mental process. And again, some examples. See, it is somewhat related to behaviors and somewhat related to, I can say, personality and somewhat related to thinking. This is what actually we will be dealing in psychology. So if you study psychology, so what I can get? See, psychology will try to give you an answer. For example, suppose what type of a person you are, whether you are an introvert person or extrovert person, whether you are a very shy type or whether you are a talkative type. So why you are of that type of a personality? So if you want to know an answer, yes, psychology can give you an answer. You can see, suppose sometime someone says bad about you, something. Sometimes some people will just like that forget, they'll go off. But sometimes some people will think a lot. They are very sensitive, emotionally very sensitive. They cannot easily forgive. They cannot easily forget. So why? Why sometimes for some people, you know, when there is a criticism, they obsess for a long time. So what is the reason for it? That we can understand. The third one, you can see. Okay. Again, it is related to studies. So sometimes even this is very relevant to our UPSC. So they come with a lot of uh, ambition, vigorous vision and mission. And then after some point of time, initially they will be good. After one or two months of time, some people say that I cannot sit and study for a long time. So I'm not getting that motivation. So I'm getting, the reason is it's not motivation. It is a fear of failure. And second is distraction. So what psychological process is involved? And third, if you study, and this is a common complaint many students will tell, sir, I have studied a lot, but everything I've forgotten. So why? Because the reason is you have to understand our memory system. How much you can retain in your memory now? I will say that if you read something, within eight hours of time, you will forget 60 to 70% of information. See, this was not found out by some biologist. It was not found out by a biologist or medical doctor. It was found out by psychologist. So anything you read, maximum nine hours of time, 70% of the information will be lost approximately. Finally, you can only read whatever you study you can only read time 20 to 25 percent of the information after 30 days of time. So this is a mental memory capacity. That is what we have. We don't have beyond that. So that memory system can we improve? Yes. So we have some methods in our, in our memory chapter, how the memory system can be improved. So this is related to student for those who are in the academic. And then come to the next one, honor killing. Have you heard about this honor killing? That is, their daughter would have, their daughter or son would have married someone from other caste. Because of the reason, they will kill their own daughter itself. There's something called honor killing. You would have seen even in South India, North India and all. See, how it is possible that from the childhood, with a lot of affection, they bring their boy child or girl child. So just imagine, for the name of caste, they're even ready to go to a very extreme to kill their daughter itself. And you can see the entire community will boost out that people. So why? Why, why the caste is dominating like this? A religion or caste, you can see in some people, no? in some family you would have heard about it. You would have got some experience. So they are so strong. What makes them to get so strong in the caste or in the religion or what makes them? So that is something we can try to understand from the chapter of prejudice and other things. And you can see it's an extreme case. You know about the Delhi Nirbia case. And uh, in that case, many... Was, you know, many was uh, prosecuted and other thing. And in that one boy who's around uh, 17, 18 years, he has done the maximum crime. So why or what makes some people to do such a crime on a woman? Especially the rape. Actually, rape is not a, just a, you know, it's not a sexual pressure. Sexual pressure means he would have gone for a prostitute or something. It is something, a crime on a woman. So actually, they don't enjoy the sexual pressure. In fact, they enjoy the crime or they enjoy the women getting, being tortured. That they enjoy, these criminals. So what psychological process is involved? So it's a one example. So I can put, so why advertisement uses attractive model? So psychology in general will try to give you some answers for it. So in turn behaviors, in turn behaviors, in turn personality. This is what psychology talks about. Okay, what psychology? What is the definition? We see psychology, it, I will say the definition contains two parts. It's a study of human behavior and mental process. So there are two parts. One is human behavior, mental process. So what is that human behavior? It is nothing but overt behavior. Overt na external. For example, all the way you are, you are coming and sitting here. Say you would have done your college. Am I right? By this time you would have joined, you could have joined for some job. You could have joined for some job, correct? 
either through a campus interview or you could have tried some other job you could have joined by this time at least you can earn 25 to 30000 but all the way you are not gone for the job you have come for civil service you paid money and now at 5:30 or coming and sitting here this is you see you are coming and sitting here attending the psycho psychology demo it is something overt behavior what makes you to come and sit here just imagine but you you see your friends who would have done your uh, who has uh, your course that is friends who have classmates and all by the time they would have gone for a job correct some other job they would have gone but now you are sitting here so what makes you to come and sit here what is the reason for it there there is some motivation there am i right what motive so it's a motive to get a job if it's a motive to get a job you would have gone for group 2 or group 3 or group 4 you would have not come for upsc am i right upsc in the toughest examination you definitely you would have not come see there are some motive is there so what is that motive whether it's a power motive whether it's a prestige motive social motive see something has driven you otherwise you would have not come in city like this it is not possible who is ready to come and sit for one because you know that you have to prepare for one year two years at least one one and a half years preparation is needed so you are ready to delay your gratification but there are some student who are not ready to sit for this exam for one year but all the way you are ready to sacrifice and come and sit, coming and sitting here so what is my what is your motive and you are attending psychology demo so what is the motive whether to check me or whether to check yourself see some motive is there am i right see this is something external behavior overt outside behavior you can see gossiping behavior any behavior outside behavior outside reaction that we call it as a human behavior so the second part of the psychology it is mental process so what is the mental process see you are coming and sitting here this is a overt behavior but what is right now running in your mind so what is the internal mental process that is something called mental process or internal mental process it includes your thoughts feeling apart from that certain feelings like love sex anger and other extreme like depression memories these are all happening inside so psychology what we are trying to do is without opening our mind we are going to understand some elements of internal mental process so what is happening what is running in your mind that is one second is we are also going to understand the overt behavior so we are going to study both external behavior as well as internal sometime you can see you can know now right now you see manipur issue i hope you would have seen this see what a violence is going on but this violence it's not a new thing it has happened here and there but now it last one one and a half years the peak of the violence is going in the manipur so now you see that this is something external behavior you can see one group of people show the atrocity to another group of people it comes under the prejudice so this is something overt right now what is running in their mind that is something internal actually psychology we are going to study this two element internal mental behavior or internal mental process and the overt behavior so at the end of the four and of to five months of time so after you study psychology what you can understand i think but now what you can understand is if you come across a any behavior whatever the behavior it can be a very simple behavior so now you are coming and sitting here is one type of a behavior i will say so there can be any type of a behavior now your father will sh- so for example i am telling your father may shout at you that is one behavior so if you come across any type of a behavior first thing you will understand what is the type of behavior so under what classification we can put that behavior it can be a normal behavior or it can be abnormal behavior second is you will tell what is the reason for the behavior but we cannot give a exact 100% reason please understand because there are certain thing runs inside the mind so please understand that when we study psychology means not that you see a person you understand everything adala gade that is all pseudo psychology adala fake we have we will try to understand but we have a limitation because it is a scientific subject it's a study so we will try to tell tentatively we will tell what is the reason for that you behaved in a particular manner okay why you behaved in a particular manner we will be able to tell what is the reason for the behavior so once you understand that we can easily predict how that person will behave in the future so even future la ipdi nadapam so how this person is going to behave in the future so that is predicting their behavior so once you are able to predict the behavior you can understand this person of this type that you can come to know that is gauging a people that also we can sell and then ultimately this is our main part change the behavior so if the person is ready for the change ultimately we will engage in changing 
So it can be some form of a therapy, but therapy is a very extreme one. It is something we call it as a behavior modification program. So what is to, uh, it has many applications. So today in companies, corporates and companies, even in our government services also, there is something called training. So training, there is, there is, there is a technical training. There is another training called behavioral training. Most of the time, the behavioral training is done by the psychologist. 99% psychologists only do the behavioral training. It is part. The behavioral training, leadership training, for example, people would have come to a higher position. Even let me say, an IAS officer, after 15 years or 20 years, they have to take a higher position. Most of the IAS in the initial stage itself, they take higher position. But 10 to 15 years, most of the time, state level affairs, they have to deal. So that time, they need to have a leadership quality. So again, how to imbibe the leadership quality? This is one example for training. So that is what ultimately we have to work on how to change the behavior, how to change the mental process and behavior. It's a something. So this is, we understand then generally, this is about the basics of psychology. Okay. See, when I say it seems to be a little open-ended, am I right? Psychology, now it seems that, okay, you understand the behavior, you tell the reasons for the behavior. Okay, you predict the behavior, how the person uh, react in the future. And finally, you change the behavior. Okay, whether it is a very open-ended, so how I'm going to study. See here, you have to understand this is a very systematic subject. It's a subject. It's not a very open paper. Anything you want to study a behavior, we have certain schools of thought, perspective. We are going to study only in that perspective. So we are not going to, that is, some five to six perspectives are in the psychology. Dominant personal perspective is four to five. That's something we call a school of thought. Through that school of thought only, we are going to study. So what is that? I'll just give a small overview. When you want to see a behavior, there are various ways you can look at a behavior, but it is not when you see a behavior, you make your own theory. No, it's not like that. Okay, you cannot come with your own views and all. That is something I will say it is a unscientific. opinions. That's an opinion. But through a method, you understand that behavior that is systematic. So what is that is? That is something called perspectives, schools of thought. So what are the schools of thought we have? The one school of thought is called psychodynamic school of thought, the Freudian school. Sigmund Freud, who's a, one of a very famous psychologists. But uh, the one thing is the psychodynamic school of thought will contain more of a sexual theory. So he has a more sexual perspective. So from childhood to but if you ask psychodynamism, they will tell that all your, most of your behavior, your personality comes in the seven to eight years of time. Say, what type of a person you are? Okay, you will tell, I'm of this type of a person, I'm of that type of a person. But okay, I, will, I can do a psychological testing, then I can really tell what type of a person you are. You may agree, you may not agree. But how this personality has come to you, how this behavior has come to you, according to the psychodynamism, the Sigmund and Freud and all will tell that it is mostly comes from the first seven years of age. Six to seven years. How oh, the six to seven years, whether the gene makes you, no. Gene, yes, can play a role. But most of the time, your early life, you had a lot of interaction with your parents, mother, father, sibling. That will, that will maximum determine your personality. Okay, so he has its own view. How to study a, uh, how to study a behavior, how a personality or behavior is developed in a person, including motivation, everything. Number two, Behaviorist perspective. So it, it is given by Skinner and their followers. So what they say is, uh, a behavior comes from the environment. See, you're coming and sitting here, it is only because of the environmental pressure, all right? Sometimes your parental pressure may be there because of the, some, some force would have pushed you to do this. So that is something, environment plays a major role. So that is what behaviorist perspective. It's a second school of thought. There's a third school of thought Cognitive perspective. Cognitive means internal mental process. How you process the information. Sometimes we do our own thinking. So that cognitive, because I cannot explain this now. So when you enter only. The third perspective is cognitive perspective. There is another small perspective called humanistic perspective. So humanistic perspective, which is a human potential moment, we used to call it as, by Carl Rogers and other. That's a fourth school of thought. And then the fifth school of thought is a social or social psychological or socio-cultural perspective. Uh, uh, even though I'm giving it as a separate perspective, most of the concept is borrowed from the four perspectives. It's a social, socio-cultural. The five perspective and the fifth perspective also we have, it is a biological medical perspective. 
in our syllabus we don't have this we don't have much biological medical this is a five perspective we have the entire psychology whatever we are going to study we will be only studying this five perspective i will say that if you are good in this five perspective psychology is very handy for you psychology is very very and anju perspective anju schools of that adha thavara ninga you cannot write your own beyond that if you write anything own it is something i can say it is a subjective it is your opinion examiner will not give a mark examiner will never give a mark unless otherwise you come with their perspective so psychology ibudha pa study a irukku okay that is something called pseudo psychology pseudo psychology means the people will you can see in the uh, market and all there can be lot of uh, self help books there go psychology books later la how to read mind see that and all we are not dealing with i want to tell very clearly that and all that that may be scientific that may not be scientific but this and all they have back up la pathina behind the screen they have done lot of research and other thing they have done, done lot of study and they have created a, a sort of a theory and they said how to study the behavior how to predict them how to change it that systematically we are going to study and we are going to apply so i will say that the entire psychology what we are going to study it is only in that five perspective if you get into the each and every chapter definitely this perspective will be there if you go there is a one chapter called learning in the learning chapter psychodynamic sorry psychodynamic will not be there behaviorist cognitive two chapters will be there. two perspective will be there if you come to memory chapter cognitive perspective alone will be there if you come to motivation chapter psychodynamism behaviorism cognitive three perspective will be there if you come to the next chapter whichever chapter you go this five perspective will be there if you are good in the but five perspective one periya concept la kedaiyadu concept wise is a very moderate understandable concept only so that's what i will know anyone can understand the concept but with that only we can apply psychology we can understand psychology so if you take terrorism how they explain terrorism if you see it is because of aggressive nature psychodynamism play a role behaviorism play a role okay because behaviorism psychodynamism will say that it is something you know from the childhood lot of aggressive tendency is developed that is the reason it is these people easily get into you know terrorist otherwise you, you enter into terrorism people will leave, many people will come out of the terrorism now is it possible for you to, for me make you to uh, for me to make you as a terrorist no not possible by the time you are matured almost you have become adult so now you know what is right and wrong but it is a 12 to 13 years you do not know what is right and wrong that is a time sometime you have little aggressive tendency psychodynamism will say that it is very easy for them to convert into a terrorist narcissism or something behaviorism will tell totally different but behaviorism theory is highly accepted they are providing that environment very simple i recruit in 12 to 13 years what should i do i should completely disconnect from the entire world no mobile nothing no parents nothing and then 16 to 17 hours make you to work like anything so that your mind completely become restless your mind completely can disoriented when your attention is lost when you are completely disoriented whatever someone says that you will accept it then slowly what happen you see the terrorist organization will give certain commands that mentally they become program that is what behaviorism say so like this if you get into each and every chapter definitely this perspective will come into the picture so if you are good in that perspective psychology will become handy i will say that 40 to 50% of your psychology is over if you know the perspective so that is what actually in the entire four and a half months we will be focusing more on the perspective make you to understand each and every perspective very clearly and enter even the first day of a class introduction to psychology itself i will introduce this four perspective i'll lay over 20% by in that itself 20 to 25% you will understand okay what is psychology this is how psychology is the first first day of the class itself i will say 50% you will understand what our psychology will deal about so this is what we will be moving as psychology now come to the okay chapters uh, paper 1 paper 2 you know that <clears throat> in the paper 1 it is completely foundations the foundations of psychology uh if you see the syllabus actually upsc will say that the syllabus will be in the honors level but actually if you see the syllabus the syllabus whatever they have given a very defined syllabus they don't uh, if they want to go out of that syllabus in every optional 5% or some maximum 10% maximum 10% they may go a little out of the syllabus in every option they go but i will say at an average 5% they go out of the syllabus if you see the syllabus it is syllabus it will not be even 100% of a bsc psychology okay i will say that it is between plus 2 and bsc that is how syllabus is given 
so the entire paper 1 it is completely foundation so for the if you want to understand the psychology if you want to understand all the perspective so i will say the first you have to understand introduction so of course introduction to psychology we try to understand all the perspective and second is this is a little critical area research so for example research means we will not get into the higher research and all they will tell normally psychological research how they do it how they have done so we are not going to study complete research those people they have done the research they will be in the lab they will be experimental research or something they will do some case studies or something how a research is done that will be dealt and you can see some chapters i i want to get into learning learning means whatever in your life till now you have learned that is something called learning so now you are come and sitting here it's a one type of a learning all the way you come to class whether you come and sit here no it's i will say that is a one learning so your everyday behavior is learning actually this one chapter your complete behaviorism school will be over almost then you have a memory system so that is memory system from the psychological perspectives there are some three models of memory so how our memory so through a small research and all they have come to know that our memory is not one single system earlier we thought that memory is one but you know that our memory is three short sensory memory short term memory long term memory so right now if i ask you a name in the urla varinga that come from the long term memory but now you are listening from the listening your eye ears it goes to the sensory memory then there is something a short memory called short term memory i hope you would have seen the movie gajini movie so in the gajini movie they will tell you know, stm loss short term memory loss so short term through the psychological research only we came to know the short term memory so what is the short term memory what is the long term memory what is the sensory memory that we will understand in the memory system then this one chapter thinking and problem solving actually it contains many so we'll understand what is thinking and then what is problem solving suppose you encounter a problem in your life I'll, not a problem can be a mathematical problem or whichever problem but it is on the real time problems how you approach a problem how you solve the problem 99% of the time in this world everyone approach the problem solve the problem in a only particular way it is only some people called creative people you would have heard about creative people think see the problem in a different way so normal people how solve they solve the problem how the creative people solve the problem that we'll see and within that we have one small sub topic called creativity so which is a very important which is a very very good chapter so how creative people behave so you can see lot of creativity will be happening around you so what are the different types of creativity some examples this and all theoretical orientation will not be much more of an example will be and then within the chapter one more thing decision making how we make decisions in our life so most of the whether it is a, a mathematical decisions or normal decisions in our life so what factors we consider generally in our decision making what are the mistakes we do in the decision making so now that is something called fallacy so we are going to study about thinking problem solving decision making in this chapter then the next very important chapter is motivation and emotion so as i told no motives so how motivation comes to a person and what is the emotion how we experience emotion within that motivation we will specifically understand some few motives in motives matha power motive many motives are there some samples like uh, hunger motive sex motive and then how what is the affiliation motive with be others how we want to be with others so how well we want to be close with others how well we want to be away from others affiliation motive achievement motive so normally people so now i since you are coming for a cpsc definitely what you need to have is achievement motive if you don't have achievement motive clear in this exam is not at all possible i will say that only 1% only possible 99 not 1% percent, 0.01% percent, na 99.99% i will say that you should have a achievement motive now we have done a, we know in this chapter we will understand normally people with high achievement motive what is their characteristics how they behave so what are the responses they do so what is their lifestyle so that we try to understand through the certain things motivation then we have one chapter called intelligence so in this what is that high intelligence low intelligence and retarded so we will understand and what constitutes intelligence intelligence now what is that so how we study intelligence and uh, there are some intelligence testing whether intelligent testing works or not so whether really it is helpful for job once upon a time they were using lot of intelligent test in the hr recruitment lab but nowadays they are not using it so why they are not using it that and all we will understand and then very important core chapter personality so personality learning memory thinking all comes under your personality all one la vandu i will say that everything will converge in personality so all the four perspective five perspective will come under the personality 
so what type of a person how to understand a personality how personality testing is done suppose if what trait you have how the trait has come to you from the childhood so how to change the trait how to change the personality that we will try to understand and then there is one topic called attitudes so this attitude is something i will say uh, attitude means it is how you see the world so by this time i will i, I will say that you have at, you would have developed a lot of attitude attitude towards college attitude towards your parents attitude towards this exam so you know modala mukhyame what is what is more important is what is your attitude towards this exam that is very important you have a negative attitude towards this exam or you have a neutral attitude towards this exam definitely you cannot clear so first and foremost thing i have to check what is your attitude you should have a positive attitude when you have a positive attitude only you will get a positive emotion if you have a positive emotion only you will get a positive motivation if you have that motivation only action will come you will sit and study otherwise what happens you see when your attitude is not good after some point of time first you will study but after some point of time you will wither away so that you can easily understand so in the initial time class everyone will come but after 2 3 months parana 6 months 8 months some people will come delay to the class some people will not come to the class they will lose motivation i will say that the base is attitude so it is personality attitude and all interrelated and a personality the reason that attitude why it comes now i will say it is your personality what type of a person because whether you are achievement motivator achievement motivator or not that also determines your personality all are interrelated concepts huh? even though we study as a chapter then we have one chapter called language and communication in that communication na upsc focus more so how the different types of communication normally in your college you will go communication training they would have done so the same communication now what is body language how to what are the various body languages how to read body language that and all we will deal in this and then contemporary in this contemporary only some miscellaneous like dream hypnosis meditation drug normally the different types of drugs especially designer drugs like narcotics so that and all contemporary it will take so this is keep in mind this is a foundation so if you go to bsc also the same chapters will be that but i will say that uh, from the bsc or ba some 60 65% only it will be that so your ncert plus this ncert to or ncert i mean plus 2 to bsc in between that this is how if you do the foundation well if you understand all the concepts with that five perspective your application will become very easy paper 2 it is completely application if you see how you are going to apply in organization hr how you are going to apply in education so what you are going to study five perspective what you are studying in the because if you understand what is intelligence if you understand what is learning then only you can understand education how to apply in education because see tomorrow suppose assume that you become a psychologist so we have gone for a new education policy so what changes we need to do in the new education policy so first thing first thing you should know how our indian school setting is nam school education epdi irukku okay whether school education how today our school education 10th plus 2 how the training is done in the school rotten mark am i right whether they are making you to understand something okay think about the world no am i right our education system is not like that am i right so that's how how the psychological principle can be helpful in the education so i will break into few segments the first segment this is clinical some four chapters they have kept generally they don't go much into the clinical clinical na yes some we try to also understand some four to five disorders major disorder like anxiety depression some serious disorders what are the uh, generally we don't get into much uh, medical part and all we try to understand what are the symptom so especially in this anti social personality disorder psychopathy so what are the symptoms they have so what characteristics they have why that happens and what is the treatment we can give to them how we can rehabilitate this is one clinical part normally 30 to 40 marks come from this some people skip this part also but i will say that you should never skip any part then the second part is about organization and education what you study in the foundation that you are going to apply the third this is sociology part so how to apply psychology in society because there is something called social psychology so what sociology students study in that some 20 30% we will be studying it if uh, for example why caste issue comes why religious issue comes uh, it's a something social part so i will say that we have we, we will be dealing one chapter called prejudice and discrimination so we have one chapter called attribution so we have one chapter so how we are going to apply our social sorry, how we are going to apply our psychology to the society social behaviors 
so that this chapters some four five chapters will apply again it is borrowed from then some miscellaneous part like how psychology can be applied to environment sports terrorism military because military job is not a normal job am i right military job is a extreme job so in that people need to have high hardiness and tolerance that is the reason today many people in the military when they come out you could have i do not know whether you heard many people easily get into some sort of a problem called depression and uh, post traumatic stress disorder because the reason is proper training if it is not then all the psychologists military psychologists will be there you start from the recruitment to training so how it is applied in the military so that and all we will see what we are going to study in the paper 1 that we will be applying in the paper 2 if you are good in paper 1 applying the paper 2 is not at all a challenge at all and most of the time in the four months of course four and a half to five months of course we will be giving three and a half months four months we will be stressing on only on the foundation last one month only we will get into it and also 99% of the student our student who clear you can see that they will give more focus on the paper 1 paper 2 pathinale they will giving very focus so there is only one book that only they study they go comfortably they will score 130 to 140 minimum i am telling so paper 2 when you are good in paper 1 paper 2 will not be a challenge at all so that is how the paper 2 comes so this is a two uh, papers we will be dealing now i want to give a summary of it see first thing psychology uh, even though the term psychology many people think it is related to medical or something please understand psychology is a social science as i told you it is a behavioral science it comes under the behavioral science social science it has a status somewhat equivalent to uh, sociology anthropology that level only it does not why i am telling is it is not somewhat equivalent to physics chemistry medical science yena adu vandu romba scientific we also scientific but we will be between social to science so that is all first one the second one is uh, so okay fine it has less biological basis see because in some psychology books and all more biological basis can be there actually in our entire syllabus we are not going to study about brain at all brain ra chapter e kediyad at least in your bsc uh, psychology you have a chapter brain they study about brain parts and all but actually we don't have in our syllabus at all upsc didn't give that also so technically we are not going to enter into brain brain parts cerebellum that and all we will not be dealing it but maybe in motivation emotion one or two chapter one or two brain part we may discuss but as a whole brain related neuroscience related we will not be dealing we will be dealing only for the social science part third as i told you you don't need any background so whatever background you are english literature you are thing so you know one of our one of our student uh, bonesh so he is a tamil nadu topper tamil nadu topper uh, rank 41 so he is a bsc physics so he is psychology like 300 marks something he has got another one student last year one of the students were in her rank is little 500 plus so she is also from another bsc background not from a psychology background 99% psychology we, we we have a student who does not come from psychology background in even literature background bcom uh, b b on the adhigama irukanga yes 60% bachelor's engineering or that so any background you are from don't have any doubt any background can study you know because even you take a psychology book and uh, if i give you if you study you will understand that is the state of the subject okay the third one it has a lot of application see actually when i when i discuss about learning memory and all as a concept wise is a very simple concept concept pathina when i teach first if i get into learning i may teach you on classical conditioning if you see the concept the concept may be very simplest concept la irukum it will not have any challenge but you have to apply psychology without application no use at all so in fact in our classes itself i will explain the concept i will give you many examples to make it understand that is how the class is about i will give you lot of example to connect with the real time so how we are going to apply so that i will take care so and also the scoring paper because uh, i want to tell you one thing like whether it is a dynamic paper whether you need a newspaper no not needed if you pathina newspaper na suppose you want to explain about prejudice and discrimination you have to refer manipur issue that's all current affair la maximum that is what you have to refer whether you need to know current affair and all no the paper whether if you ask me whether the paper is dynamic the paper is not dynamic the paper is static down because a person if you are writing any chapter on learning memory in harvard someone is writing a chapter on learning memory both answer should be same book da the only thing is you how you apply 
so the some some subjects like you know uh, pabad or political science la vandu dynamic you have to read lot of current affairs magazines and amari we don't have that static down it's from the book only you are going to see it most of the time sometime current affair la some one or two psychology news come but you know, upsc does not give focus for it they only they are very specific that whether you know that perspective whether conceptual clarity inga enna solrana what i mean the conceptual clarity is whether you are good in the perspective or not the five perspective with the chapters so it has got is a scoring paper only no doubt at all this year also we had and this it's more of a practical see from the first day itself you will come to know after the first introduction from learning memory you will come to know that it's more of a, i mean in our many chapters we have to do some activities through activity memory la vandu through activity only i will give you some numbers you remember through that itself you will understand so i will say that it has a practical but theoretical base irukku so aduga open ended la kadaiyadu as other subject it has a theoretical base definitely you have to study the theories and the concepts then uh, so okay the same thing it can be easily connected to your real life actually this is what upsc also expects from you are you able to are, are you able to uh, apply na you have to connect the real time example anyway i will give you because if you write it from the book the book example you write it they will give you mark but if you feel that sir i want to get 330 340 highest mark which is a mathematics mark in our psychology la what is a mark na average you study the book you go and write comfortably you will get 260 to 270 to 80 you little work hard 290 300 you can easily touch sir i want to get 330 340 so whether it is possible for me to get like a mathematics mark huh? no adu possibility illa mathematics that subject has its own id am i right because you have to sit for 8 months 9 months time mathematics you need to work hard if you want to get like a equivalent to mathematics work now you have to work hard here so here rather than telling only the example if you are able to think bring your own example i will give you some example if you are able to bring your own example your mark will be very high you can also score a mathematics mark but you have to work very hard so that is the one thing so you can easily connect with your real time hr management current affair that and all you can easily connect it so that is a basic thing you have and uh, okay so certain things uh, even though there are many positive certain things also have restriction as i already told you we have to study only from the certain perspectives so and the second challenge is definitely in the psychology we will have it is a scientific study scientific not don't think about like your chemistry experiment and all experiment will be very simple experiment I, i want to give you one example there is a memory chapter so this is to make you to a little understand in the memory chapter so you study something after some two days or three days of time you forget it it's a natural tendency you will forget it okay why forgetting happens so here one set of researcher says that forgetting happens because one set of people said that it is a time delay that is you study you you study on monday and then uh, thursday or friday you recollect it you will not be able to recollect all the material because the time delay is a reason then immediately another researcher is doing a small research what is doing is he takes two group of people group a group b ipdi da irukum study the study na ipdi da irukum research na 10 people in group a 10 people in group b for both of them he gives 40 vocabulary 40 words to memorize okay so give you gives a sufficient time so please memorize this 40 words you take whatever time so okay this two group of people 20 people memorize the 40 words and then group a 10 people he says you go and sleep for 3 to 4 hours okay for the group people he says he gives some activity some activity he gives the mathematics or something he gives after 2 hours he wakes them he calls them ask them to recollect that 40 words so between the two group can you tell which group would have recollected the maximum words this group more than 90% of the words they recollected this group only 70% or approximately also 60 to 70% only 60 to 70% word only they recollected okay why so here what they try to prove is see you say time delay is a reason for memory is reason for forgetting na the same two hours time only for both of them is given but one group is able to recollect recollect same time then the same time delay two two hours gap two hours gap 
but this group is able to recollect this group is not able to recollect so through this experiment they say that time delay is not a reason for you are forgetting so you study something you may think that 10 days back i studied that is the reason i have forgot no that is not a reason the reason is interference you after that you study something else adu poi interfere panidum so why many subjects you have lost in your memory now from the schooling time because after that every day you see something you study something you understand something so that will go and vanish the older material so this is how an experiment will be so sometime when i say some experiments and case study in some chapters not in all the chapter your experiment will be, is going to be in this level okay it is not like your chemistry experiment and all so it is something a scientific okay and there are certain terminologies also may be there okay the terminology is also we have to use the terminology can i concept wise simple concepts here. but if you are just like that writing the same simple concept they will not accept probably that particular researcher or particular theorist would have given some terminology would have given them classical conditioning reinforcer and the terms are used padipanga the term is a self explanatory term now it's not a very difficult term and all okay it's not a latin word and all very normal english term da the term if you use it only they will accept it then only you are in line with the psychology otherwise you are writing your own theory so that is one thing you have to keep in mind and as i already told you pseudo psychology and all we will not deal okay we will we will study about hypnosis does not mean that okay we will what the outside people outside world tells about hypnosis that we are not going to see we really say what hypnosis whether really hypnosis is happening if it is happening for someone why it is happening that we will see so we are going to see only from the scientific perspective pseudo nale false you know there are a lot of quacks and the false psychology indrathu nariya odit irukum okay how to read mind that and all we will not be dealing we will be dealing only from the and the five perspective solid and the five perspective kuda we will be there we will not go out of that perspective okay and then okay uh, whether uh, it will be connected to your gs paper generally i will say that you should not see for gs paper at all because subject any optional subject you have to think only about the optional subject but we have a direct connection with gs4 there are some chapter like emotional intelligence attitude some chapter some three four chapters directly reflected in the gs4 paper case studies ku definitely our psychology will be very helpful because in the development psychology and all we are we will be talking about moral reason and ethics ku vandu moral reasoning is the foundation psychology is a foundation so definitely psychology can be very helpful for your gs4 the 250 marks la substantially it can help you but anyway this factor you should never consider always optional na that is a special because why upsc keep gs optional na optional na special paper is a specialization gs is generalist so when you take a specialization paper how well you dedicate yourself how well you are going to give it because gs paper can be corrected by anyone for example paper 1 paper 1 na even a physics a physics professor can also correct a history political science irukum polity irukum but someone from mathematics also will correct it but optional na it is only the optional professor will correct it the optional professor any optional the optional professor only correct, uh, sets a paper they only correct it so that is the reason subject nu bodu you should give a respect for the subject gs now okay general that is something you know you, you study for 60 years 70 years also you cannot complete gs but optional is something specialization so you have to think that optional paper is something is a different one okay so this is uh, one thing and then okay so some book source now anyway even you come to the class i will give you all the book sources but i can give you ncrt plus 1 plus 2 there are some students who comfortably get more than 280 290 only by reading ncrt plus their own example so ncert book le or 55 to 60% will cover your science adu or ncert book five times if you study that itself will cover 60% but anyway you should not limit to ncert uh, for our paper 1 i will give a book for the entire paper 1 two books will be there part 1 part 2 that is more than sufficient for paper 1 class notes and the paper 1 book tharava padichale two books if you study thoroughly that itself will be sufficient for a paper 1 paper 2 we have one standard book paper 2 and i told you know paper 1 learn now you have to apply when i discuss about paper 2 itself how you need to bring my paper 1 that and all i will help you that is not a challenge you will not have any issue at all paper 2 we have one book you have to purchase one book called smarak swine book that for a reference you can keep that book so this is a book source you have to follow class note class you have to attend the class you should not miss the class you have to get that book you have to study the book revise 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 practice so this is what you have to do apart from this for interest if you want any reference book first this you have to do it for me not beyond that 
beyond that you want some reference book na i can give you in the class time i can advise you some book if you want to purchase some book or something i can advise you but that is secondary part idella murichitinga we have done all these things then after that you want to come for this you can get the book for your interest you have a time you have interest na that time you can stand but for our exam ku this is more than sufficient this book with the ncert is more than sufficient okay and then okay timing uh, you know our program plan timing we will have 9:30 to uh, approximately 1 1:15 in the weekend saturdays and sundays uh, every because again studying class attending the class studying alone is not important our ultimate objective is not to become a psychologist okay i want to tell you if whatever the syllabus you have seen after studying this whether i can become a psychologist or not kandiba kadaiyad not at all okay you will be studying disorder you will be studying therapy after that can you go and give a therapy na no not at all what we are going to study is a feather level da upc expect pandrado avladha so we are not going to get into the depth and all sollum bodhu inga depth nu solran but depth nu i mean that what the syllabus is given in that you should have a clarity adu da my mean the word depth is something about clarity okay so in this what you study is not important ultimately convert into mark is important adukku test okay because whether you get a good mark whether you attend full test that is all that all not matter every two weeks every two chapters or something you will have a test and the test religious ritual religious you have to come and write without you know uh, what to say without evaluating whether you have studied not studied that and all does not matter you have to two weeks test edi improve panna no because you have to understand this entire process is a step by step process don't try for this it is chance illa if you go this you will fall we have to go by step by step now so initially you will find the step slowly i will tell you slowly we have to improve so every two weeks once fortnight we will have a test if you write the test slowly you will build up okay what we are going to study in the what you are going to discuss in the class that only i am going to have a test so i will give a time of some one week time something for you to prepare now it's a high time because it's june july so anyway uh, i hope you will not be joining the csat even if i join for the csat does not matter first do the optional whatever the optional and then do the csat they will hold it not an issue so so that before september october you can complete your optional second october november right november you complete your optional then you forget about the optional then prepare only for the prelims after the prelims you come for the mains everything will be okay okay so test is a very important component ultimately and during the class itself i will explain you with some questions and all we will discuss it sometime in between that we will also have like workshop the test again one session or not two session we will have dedicatedly for how to write how to approach the question that and all we will discuss you know because psychology our objective is not to become a psychologist our objective is to clear the paper that's all in the paper we have to clear so that to get into a good score and good rank that's what and then okay with the test we will have definitely we'll after the test we will have a test discussion and individual paper reviews also i will give you ah uh, yes this will be there because we can since we cannot teach everything in the class we have a limited time of five months time so konjo lighter little class assignment some knowledge surfing na konjo net la poi some examples and all i may ask you to do it that parallelly you have to do it if you do it only it can be it can be a good value addition it can be little helpful okay that is one thing and then okay we will normally we will have psychology we will have our own mentoring that we will do it okay so this is uh, basic things i want to tell now uh, what are all the doubts you have even for the online students i think in online we have many number of students okay what is the mean school of thought is nothing but perspective if you go to any subject every subject definitely will have certain schools of thought certain perspective so we will be studying in certain perspective that five perspective i told no four to five perspective that is what actually we call it as a school of thought one second one second and uh, the other things which i want to tell us see the number of student who write mains in psychology is very limited uh, see what is the reality i will tell you uh, if 7 to 8 students are appearing for uh, uh, mains abdina or 4 to 5 clear the mains they get into interview and then all or two get into service so this is a trend so last year abdina number of student who attended mains is very less 
பட் இந்த டூ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் அவர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா டெஸ்ட் சீரிஸ் தனியாக ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வருவாங்க இந்த தட் ஆல்சோ டூ ஹவ் கிளியர் ஸோ அவர் ஓன் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸே ரெண்டு பேர் புவனேஷ் அண்ட் சிவரஞ்சினி ஸோ டூ ஹவ் காட் புவனேஷ் அட் த ஹையஸ்ட் ரேங்க் ஸோ மார்க் வைஸ் எவ்ரி திங் வில் கம் த ஒன்லி திங் இஸ் யூ ஹாவ் டு ஒர்க் ஹார்ட் சி வெதர் கம் அட்டன் த கிளாஸ் வெதர் யூ வில் கிளியராக கெட் ஆ நோ சி வாட் கிளாஸ் சி வாட் வி ஆர் டூயிங் இஸ் அ எனேபிளிங் ஃபங்க்ஷன் எனேபிளிங் ஃபங்க்ஷன்னா if i give whether it is possible if you ask me sir is it possible to study self study yes possible 100 percent possible you know what is the difference abina you take you study understanding the depth it will take you some time ungalku time edukum what i am trying to do is i am trying to reduce your time that's it so i will be teaching learning i will be teaching what is classical conditioning operant conditioning i will touch law observation learning so i will tell the crux of it certain notes will be there so that it will be very when you go and see the book it will be very easy for you so i am trying to reduce your time and then give you certain ways how to write answers so it is a value addition so this we are going to do it actually in the class so that is how you have to understand that it is 50% is yours even 50 to 60% is yours people who clear this all this exam avanga badina basic they are all achievement motivators they have common characteristics they are all hard workers they have perseverance perseverance is very high they are all hard worker generally they don't get temptations okay movie and the temptation are not so they will what, what is their ultimate objective see all the way you are coming and sitting here what is your ultimate objective to clear this so your goal your goal what is your ultimate goal in your life to get into an ias get into a civil servant am i right you have to be very clear in the goal every day morning that should be in your mind so people who clear this exam whichever option they come from this is a common tendency they have and very important is we have one chapter called stress management stress agave kuda so when you become stressed your performance will come down in fact we will be dealing in one session we will be dealing on stress and stress management why stress happen what is the roots of the stress so we even other option don't deal it we i'll deal it so you should never get stressed when you start thinking about result when you start thinking about whether it is possible for you then automatically the stress will come to the picture people who clear this exam they will get a stress but the stress has to be within the limit then automatically it will clear okay so this is a basic things you have to keep in mind check now uh, even for the online students and uh, for the offline students uh, you can post your doubts what are all the doubts you have you can post it what are the doubts maybe enna na doubts irukku ungalku enna na what clarification you need you can ask me so that i can tell the question and even for the other students also i can tell see classes as of now it's only the weekend we will not have the weekday we can live three and a four hours eh? but uh, what we'll do is we will uh, see if everyone is comfortable in some additional classes like there uh, are a holiday la if you all if all the students are comfortable we may have some additional classes or illana konja end of the session last one month la matto little additional classes may be there that time it can be in the weekend so but we will ask for the consensus but initially we will have only in the weekend we can the additional classes in the weekday la irukalam 5:30 ku mele Mm. so we will wind up by 1 o'clock half an hour before we will wind up ara 130 na we will wind up by 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock. that's not issue see technical terms na here in technical na it's not a latin word and all other thing and all technical na observation learning and mari da train forcer motivation la intrinsic motivation extrinsic it's a english word da okay which everyone can understand Okay. See, whether the syllabus is easy to complete three to four months now, yes, four and a half to five months. Don't keep four, three months now. Four and a half months to five months. In our portal, it's a syllabus completion now. Okay, it is not a GS like a number of hours and all. Paper one, we will complete 100%. Paper two, la, or 75 to 80% we will complete. There are certain small area which you can read by yourself, which I will give a guideline of it. we have to complete the syllabus and then only we will wind the class abadi dhan povom ena subject la we cannot go by number of hours la kadaiyadu it will take 4 and 5 months time so for you 6 months time 
இஸ் அ குட் டைம் ஃபார் யூ டு கெட் அ ஹோல்ட் ஏன்னா சில சப்ஜெக்ட் வந்து செவன் மந்த்ஸ் இருக்கும் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் எல்லாம் எயிட் நைன் மந்த்ஸ் பட் திஸ் சப்ஜெக்ட் ஐ வில் சே ஃபைவ் அண்ட் ஆஃப் டு சிக்ஸ் மந்த்ஸ் டைம் யூ வில் கெட் அ ஹோல்ட் ஆன் த சப்ஜெக்ட் கம்ஃபர்டபிள் யூ கேன் கெட் அ ஹோல்ட் ஆன் த சப்ஜெக்ட் See, this um, optional subject, why it has to be prelims? Uh, optional subject is only for the mains, no? We will be only focusing on the mains. That's the full description. There is nothing, the, no, no question of prelims at all for this uh, psychology. Uh, see, you don't need any basic, you don't need any basic. See, that's what I, first thing I told, because many people are getting confused with the term psychology. You don't need any basic background. Don't need for any qualification or something. okay your qualification rade you have you should see option portalukku interest mattum da if you feel that yes sir i want to learn psychology i have to, some interest is there that's enough okay no need for any background illa varavanga yaarume background illa that's what i'm telling you bsc physics ah 300 marks he has got it avarku endha background kedaiyadhu he does not have any background in psychology okay people am um, the civil engineer also has this not background and another student is a engineer that another student is a delhi student so he came for a psychology test series matum uh, he he his background is english literature actually so background no, no nothing see interest motivation avladha again your attitude that is ultimately the your psychological factors only is going to play a major role in this exam clear in this exam whichever option you choose uh see whether another batch or november see i'm not sure about the second batch as of now uh, this one batch is there second batch i do not know okay if we have maybe by the month of december we may have a second batch which i am not sure about it right now okay why number of people psychology see we have many number of optionals okay we have plus 20 plus optional so again uh, people sometime choose certain optional because based on the interest they choose okay one point of time la i will say that by 2010 and all if you see people that time that time two options were there 2005 6 7 8 la poi pathina political science will be one option second option psychology irukum about psychology sociology psychology people were choosing lot of op- many number of people took psychology as an optional on the time la adupra one option maarna piragu you can see divisions will come so we can see some people will go for uh, pabat some people will go for geography some people will go for mathematics some people apo total number of student opting for psychology automatically reduces that is the advantage till now adu or advantage more number of student comes it's a risk because i want to give you one small data last upsc data if you see if you just i'm not trying to you know give just or what upsc is given i'm just trying to tell it uh, in one particular optional 3000 student attempted percentage of people who are selected is 4 percentage but our psychology 170 student attempted more than 14 percentage more than 13 percentage have cleared so p- turnover ratio will be better when the uh, like in the very subjects like economics uh, psychology this papers and all very less number of students clear because upsc will ensure that from all the optional students are getting into it adu badi bother padana now the question is whether i should choose this option whether i get a mark this option no today that is not a problem at all within your option you have to compete avladha see whether you take uh, whether you take sociology whether you take pabad whether you take uh, suppose there is a or long or myth irukna if you take the sub if you take the subject you will clear this exam no the upsc is not a full uh, upsc see upsc gives 20 20 professor 20 set of professor whether the upsc will tell that this subject sandal give more mark psychology give more mark this give more mark ala upsc will never tell so, upsc will ensure that whatever the optional you chose you choose from that optional top 2% to 5% get into the service and the upsc last last time record la pathina they told that 9 to 10 10 per 10 to 11 percentage turnover in your percentage of people selected psychology got into psychology and if you see the optional in all the optional people got into the service ore or optional matum da that particular year people didn't get into uh, service that is assam literature maybe competitive students irundirukka matanga am i right see it is not about the subject please keep in mind it is not about the subject it is about the person see this year tamil nadu topper bhuvanesh has come not because of psychology if you say that it is because of psychology bhuvanesh come na it is totally wrong it is because of bhuvanesh came okay avaru padicha nalla padichaaru he studied well he worked hard he came okay that is all if you have taken some other option you would have come so please don't get uh, you know miscarried away by that you have to work hard in that 
இஃப் கொஸ்டின் வந்து வெதர் யூ ஹாவ் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் வெதர் யூ ஹவ் கைடன்ஸ் எஸ் யூ ஹவ் அ கைடன்ஸ் டோன்ட் டிரி யூ ஹவ் அ இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட்னா யூ ஹவ் அ லிட்டில் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் யூ கேன் கம் ஓகே சாம்பிள் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் வி வில் சி இந்த பிகாஸ் திஸ் இஸ் நாட் த டைம் டு சி பிகாஸ் யூ டு நாட் நோ த சப்ஜெக்ட் இஃப் ஐ ஷோ த சாம்பிள் கொஸ்டின் ஆல்சோ யூ கேன் நாட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் நாட் த டைம் டு சி த சாம்பிள் கொஸ்டின் இட் இட் வில் டேக் டூ டு த்ரீ வீக்ஸ் ஆர் ஃபோர் வீக்ஸ் ஆஃப் டைம் ஆஃப்டர் தட் ஓன்லி ஹவ் டு சி த கொஸ்டின்ஸ் திஸ் நாட் த டைம் okay gs paper see first thing this is a common this uh, the sir this subject is there is any connection with another gs paper uh, i want to know why this question why you need to why you need uh, the subject to be connected with other gs paper because you don't want to work hard huh? you want to reduce your time huh? no see please understand you have paper 4 is connected but you should not look for it adumar illa i want to tell you one real thing you don't have any difference at all if you want last year or excel sheet it was released okay last year la there is a psychology student siblu okay if you see her paper gs1 gs2 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 is a paper which contains your polity and all her mark is 107 something okay decent mark 250 107 is a decent mark oh, this is not to compare with other optional idu vandu enna nu ungalku puri vekkaradhu it's to make you to understand there is an another ranker is a delhi guy his optional is political science his mark is 102 political science na your entire page gs paper 2 should be done but you go and check it's a fact see don't this is the biggest problem you are carried away don't get carried away by that and all see inga vandu you have to work hard avladha inga adala kedaiyadu see we when uh, you, you have connection with gs paper na sometimes some paper may have a connection sometimes some paper may not have a connection but it is not going to give you any advantage in your final exam so abana she is a psychology optional le okay abo he is a political or public administration na mark should be lesser le that mark should be every how, how she is getting 107 eh? what psychology and political science has a connection what public all and you have to sit and study that's all that is the reality bank reality so you have to sit and study everything okay so it is not see upsc is not a fool again now that is what the word i am using it and i don't want to compare with other optional that's tappa idum but you have to understand that whatever you are whatever the option you come upsc will rationalize you are studying suppose you say that i am taking one subject my gs paper 3 is completed abinna upsc will keep the trick he will ensure that gs questions is totally different your optional questions is totally different you have to work hard that and all they will keep it so if you want some connection for that if you want to take some subject it's up to you okay but don't think that you are going to work less and the and the attitude vandirchina i want to work less in the attitude vandirchina it will never work it will not work at all okay so that you keep in mind see uh, optional general one july la prefer pandrathu always better you know because if you now if you take optional july august september october by in october to november your option will be over then you will be free for your prelims so that time you take and you can work on your gs prelims and there there are some student who take option you know some people now you have joined now it is very wise to take option now november la don't take option because it will clash with your gs gs classes gs schedule and also with your csat you cannot you cannot do all the three now it is better to do your optional and then you go for there are many students joined by the month of october uh, august september la student will come and join pcma okay they will come and join late that time they have no other optional they have no other thing they will take the optional in the second phase jo, that is september so that is october now october november you know in the batch mudiyadhu ke now jo, july august september october it will go to november for end of to five months of november i don't okay so they will take it by the month of november december because they will not have any other because that one year they have to complete the course so in your case you have to do your this see okay sociology psychology see every both are difficult now, i will tell okay easy na if someone says this option you take it easy na okay ungala yama tharanga nartham okay definitely none of the option is easy okay please understand i can i will not tell that psychology is easy and also uh, i don't want to do more persuasion also 
ஓகே என்ன பொறுத்த அளவுக்கு ஏன்னா பிகாஸ் இஃப் ஐ வாண்ட் டு கன்வின்ஸ் மோர் அண்ட் மேக் யூ டு கம் இன் சைட் யூ வில் நாட் பர்ஃபார்ம் ஓகே நீங்களா வரணும் உள்ள இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் யூ ஹவ் டு டேக் இட் அண்ட் கம் சி சோஷியாலஜி யூ அட்டன் டெமோ பை த மந்த் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் சோஷியாலஜினா யூ அட்டன் த டெமோ பை த மந்த் ஆஃப் சாரி பை த ஃப்ரைடே ஆஃப் சம்திங் you can take a call between social psychology see sociology they will also deal about caste class everything they will deal but they will see from the sociological perspective how the society has influenced but we will see from the psychological perspective if or one small example i want to tell uh, for example why this caste class conflict comes in your life okay what is your name what what who are you who are you you are a you are a male okay who are you okay everyone is a male who are you okay who are you solo you are mohan lal okay you are mohan lal okay that is a name there are thousands of we have actor mohan lal also there are thousands of mohan lal who are you ungalku theriyadha ninga yaarne who are you ha huh? ah you are indian okay who are you further hmm now further kekra you are ah you are a human okay good who are you ah okay now if you now you see when i ask you who are you who are you you are connecting with the group but you know group oda pe attach aringa you are connecting with the group you say the tamilian then you will say your caste name then you will say your religion am i right appo unga identity where where your identity lies who are you na where your identity lies your identity is not with yourself your identity is a group please understand am i right this is what we study in the prejudice your identity is in a group or group oda vandu neenga attach aringa am i right you may not be a caste okay you may not be a caste so just for example because this and all we have to deal in the class we have no other you are not, not be a caste but someone talk something bad about your caste you will get angry okay particularly you are not caste when you when you when your friend is in from some other caste also it does not bother you be very social friendly but someone talks bad about your caste you will get angry that is definitely it will happen because the reason is your identity your everything come from a group i am right if some other group comes and threatens you what will happen that is the reason now in manipur why it is happening between the meiti tribe and the tukki tribe is one identity is one group is threatening the another group one identity is threatening the another identity because we don't have an identity self ah pathina you will tell your name okay you tell your name mohan lal okay what is mohan lal adutha ungalku theriyadu adutha next question when i asked him he says that indian again next question asked that he told tamilian again you see you will go your college you will tell your college okay you, your college may not be a good college but if i talk bad about your college you will get angry correct because that, that is where your identity is your identity anga da irukku so most of the time you cannot come out of your identity you because your self esteem comes only in that identity so this is if you want to study in that level psychology will deal namm ipdi dhan padipom okay sociology la they study from the sociological perspective they have their own perspective okay so this is how the difference between sociology and psychology some part of sociology we are going to study you know paper 2 la 30 to 40 percent sociological part we are going to come across sociologists will study from a sociological perspective but psychologists will study konju deeper we will study from our psychological perspective but every subject have their own you know have their own uh, subject terms have their own subject matter okay we cannot say this is bigger this is adala we cannot tell it they have their value we have our value avladha that is what we can tell Okay, sorry see i think it's got disconnected because of another call recording in progress uh see sorry it got disconnected my ma konja course panunga so you, you have anything you can post it can you people who have posted it can you post it again
See, psychology is not a tougher subject. Definitely, psychology is never. I will not tell you it's a tougher subject. Okay, completely it is doable. Okay, so that to keep in mind. See, basically certain things I want to tell. Psychology is not a tougher subject. It's a doable option. Understanding easily you can understand. In the first two, two, three session, first two chapters you will come to know. Subject on the depth line is not there. Okay, see directly I don't want to do anything. If you are coming for the class directly, come to the class. First Saturday will be the class. Directly you can attend. What we teach that you learn that is more than sufficient. You don't want to go beyond that. I see my uh, chat got erased because when I, since uh, network was kind of disconnected. Uh, if anyone have any doubt, online student, please uh, type it. Offline, if you have any doubts, please ask me. Classes will be in English now. Okay. We can, because we have students from multiple backgrounds. So we cannot have it in Tamil. Okay. Maybe one or two words not only use Tamil, but uh, uh, English, we will go very slow. I will ensure that you understand. Anyway, you have to write it only in English now. Okay, see presentation wise, uh, you will have, we will have a lot of uh, conceptual diagrams. In all the uh, subject, you will have a conceptual diagram, like map, di not like a map and all, like a block diagrams will have. Sometimes some graphs will be there. So that will fetch us better marks. So that and all I will tell you. You know, geography subject that is map oriented. I don't know they have, a, they will talk about map diagram, but ours will be like a block diagram and some graphs will be there. So that, that, that will, that will be making, see, actually you will not find much challenge in writing. Only thing you have to sit and study. You have to sit and study. You will not have challenge in understanding. That's what I'm telling you. If I give us NCRT book, if I give a psychology book, you will understand it. Okay. When you depth understanding, you are coming to the class and also making to do it very faster. That's what. Hmm. Any other doubts? Okay, see option for the look here. See, the, we are dealing one chapter called decision making. Okay, you have to take a decision fast. Then again, it's a personality problem. Okay, you have to take a decision. See, it's not about decision making. You're not ready to take a risk. Risk taking ability in the You should have the risk taking ability. You choose one subject, you take it. That's all. What you know? See, the, here, here we have only two type of students. One, one group of student. subject they will have a tentative interest. Okay, psychology or different arc I want to study. They take the subject, they study, they get through. That is another group of student. They don't bother about anything. Whatever subject you give me, I will study. I will sit and study. They take the subject, sit and study, they get through. So you should fall under two categories now. Either that's a category one or category two. Other are a category. You cannot see from jump from one option to another option. If you keep on jumping now, then you have a problem of decision making. Okay, risk it. Okay, it's not a big risk at all. Okay, it's a very, very smallest risk. See, tomorrow you become a collector, you have to take a very big risk. Sometimes decision making rather it's very important. That's the time you have to take a decision. You do not know what will happen. Am I right? So certain times you will be in a position that you have to take certain decisions. Uh, okay. So decision making is a very important component in our psychology. So you have to take decisions fast. That's also very important. Okay. Then any other doubts, online student and offline students? See, if you have interest on in other thing, rest other I will take care. Guidance and all will not be an issue. Okay, I will ensure you are you are you should work hard. All of them. Attend the class. Do not skip the class. Some disease will come. What is it? They will not come to the class, coming late to the class, they will not come to the class. So that is where the student. See, this is a, like a marathon. Everyone will start from both, everyone will run. But after one month, two months, and the persistent persistence. See, that's what uh, that is the reason we had a demo, we had a demo class for the bonus. Two times he got into service two times he didn't he get in he didn't get into it because of some reasons and then third time you see he got in the general itself you should never leave it okay ups is tougher definitely ups is tougher we are, but we have to be tougher than them all of that attitude we have to develop 
see it's all about mind attitude dhaan again ultimately this exam is all about your mind attitude prelims paapanga you can see there are many student after first two, they will go and sit they will see the prelims prelims paper some people will get attacked by the paper paathune bayindruvaanga first two, five questions paapanga theriyadu they will not know the paper immediately bayindruvaanga they will become nervous there are some student who will not they will attack the paper see, this is very important why they have why they kept this paper why this kept this examination very or strenuous examination see they could have kept one simple or objective type morning after noche they could have selected for ias la why they have not done that because this job demands that attitude this job demands that personality adha idu avlo hard work ah vechirukku reason e adha that type of person only can work there otherwise people cannot work there at all okay so classes will be both offline and online and you will not find any difference at all again i will tell you whether online or offline whichever may be if you are if you are writing a test you can write it in whichever you are you can write it in uh, online and you can send it as a pdf file i will correct it and give it and give a feedback but possible come on come offline that will be better and the real time class only it will be better you you will suppose you are you are staying somewhere else in andhra or something delhi or something that time you attend online you will not have the option so you don't want uh, again another doubt you don't want to do any um, any anything preparation and all you can directly come to the class that's all enroll yourself directly come to the class on 7 sunday le uh, sunday is the first class that we will directly start the uh, first chapter introduction to psychology okay i will share mail id yes sure i will share the mail id vijay.ps at shankarais.in Further, if you have any doubts also, you can clarify. Okay, only one thing, come with an attitude, I will work hard. The rest of them, we will take care. That's my logic. Because you have to get selected. Then only our purpose will be solved. Elena, what is the motive? I'm right. the classes only in english we cannot have in tamil it may be little bit little, little bit we can add one or two tamil but classes it's only in english now classes in english i hope you will not have much challenge at all okay yes uh, if you are a online student whether you get a recorded video if you are online student uh, you get a recorded video for a particular month okay offline students if you are not low or class attend manum na that you can get a recording okay adha ella recording getting na will not be good uh, you will have a recorded for a particular month and over particular time period you will have it after that you will not have so better attend the class mudinjaluku make this as a discipline attend the class please keep it as a discipline அப்பதான் பெட்டரா இருக்கும் தென் ஓன்லி யூ ரைட்டிங் த டெஸ்ட் அதுக்கெல்லாம் வென் ஐ டூ டிஸ்கஷன் டால் யூ வில் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஏன்னா அது அப்புறம் கொஞ்சம் அதுக்கப்புறம் யூ யூ ஹாவ் டு லேக் யூ ஹாவ் டு ரீட் பை யுவர் செல்ஃப் அண்ட் கம் நீங்களே படிக்கலாம் பட் அகெயின் இட் வில் நாட் பி அல்டிமேட் அவர் அல்டிமேட் அப்ஜெக்டிவ்ஸ் டு யூ நோ கெட் குட் மார்க்ஸ் இஃப் பாசிபிள் கம் இன் த ஆஃப் லைன் தட் வில் பி பெஸ்ட் அது ஆஃப்லைன் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் எதாவது டவுட் இருக்கா ஓகே தட்ஸ் இ தட்ஸ் வாட் அகைன் இட்ஸ் a டூயபிள் ஆப்ஷன் புரியதுக்கெல்லாம் சவாலஜ் எல்லாம் ஒண்ணு இல்ல பெரிய பெரிய கான்செப்ட் எல்லாம் கிடையாது இட்ஸ் நாட் a பிக் ఫిజిక్స్ కెమిస్ట్రీ டு అండర్స్టాండ్ న్యూటన్స్ లా అలా கிடையாது ஓகே ரொம்ப சிம்பிளா இருக்கும் டாக் எக்ஸ்பரிமென்ட் சலைவா அந்த அளவுக்கு தான் இருக்கும் 
ஓகே இட்ஸ் அ வெரி சிம்பிளஸ்ட் ஒன் டெர்மாலஜி மட்டும் இருக்கும் பட் தட் ஆல்சோ வெரி சிம்பிளஸ்ட் ஒன் தான் அப்ளிகை பண்ணும் யூ ஹாவ் டு ரீட் இட் பட் ப்ளீஸ் கீப் இன் மைண்ட் எந்த ஆப்ஷன் ஈஸி கிடையாது ஆல் த ஆப்ஷன் வில் ஹாவ் ஈக்குவல் டஃப்னஸ் யூபிஎஸ்சி வில் என்ஷுர் தட் ஆல் த ஆப்ஷன் ஈக்குவல் ஓகே இந்த ஒரு ஆப்ஷன் இப்போ சம்டைம்ஸ் யூ கோ டு ஹிஸ்ட்ரி கொஞ்சம் லென்த்தியாக இருக்க மாதிரி இருக்கும் சிலபஸ் டஸ் நாட் மீன் தட் ஓகே தட் இஸ் அ வெரி அப்படிலாம் கிடையவே கிடையாது ஓகே டோன்ட் கெட் கேரட் வே பை ஆல் தோஸ் திங்ஸ் யூபி அகைன் ஐ வாண்ட் டெல் யூ யூபிஎஸ்சி இஸ் வெரி ஜுடிஷியஸ் வெரி கிளியர் எல்லா ஆப்ஷனும் ஒரே மாதிரி தான் வச்சிருப்பாங்க தே டோன்ட் வாண்ட் டு யூனோ கம் வித் ஒன் ஈஸி கை ஒன் அதெல்லாம் இல்லை தே கீப் எவ்ரி திங் அட் த சேம் பார் தான் விச் எவர் ஆப்ஷன் கோ த சேம் திங் யூ ஹவ் டு டூ அதில் ஒன்றும் டிஃப்ரென்ஸே இல்லை நான் ஏன் அகைன் அண்ட் அகைன் ஒய் ஐம் டேக்கிங் அபவுட் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட்னா அது ஒரு ஃபைவ் மந்த்ஸ் ரீட்டைன் ஆகுங்க வேற ஒன்றும் இல்லை If you have an interest, it will be five months, you will be easy to move forward. If you don't have an interest, you will not move forward. That's it. Okay? fine so i didn't get any doubts mine so with this wind up we will see on uh, uh, sunday hmm? so what is it see on if you have decided you can enroll in the admission office if you have initially where the option open irkinge or twenty days ago please inform the admission office change it i'm going to correct fine okay thank you thank you very much